official news flash. We are broadcasting to you live from the scene. What in the world? Wait! People are being attacked by giant insects! Thought to have been exterminated seven years ago, the insects actually survived! Sandlot is back with the fourth entry in the Earth Defense series. This is Earth Defense Force 2025. Seven years have passed and the Ravagers plan on using the insects to annihilate mankind again. Including a giant spider that can weave monster webs and huge bees to challenge the skies. Like the previous games, players have different soldier classes they can select and carry two weapons in the battle. But the brand new Fencer class can haul four weapons and use two simultaneously, like a samurai. He can also wield sledgehammers for making things up close and personal with the enemy. Another new class is Air Raider, who sounds like a G.I. Joe. His abilities are calling in airstrikes, healing troops, and summoning vehicles to even the playing field. Though Air Raider is best used as a support-only character, the other two classes are pretty much the trooper and jetpack soldiers from the last game. The rangers and wing divers are best for beginners and can carry a wide variety of weaponry, like the sniper rifle and big bazookas that go boom. Now the whole point of the EDF is recruiting troops, killing bugs, and picking up leftover items. Facing the insects alone is suicide though, so make sure you draft a huge army along the way. By increasing the difficulty, weapons will become more powerful and entice players to replay the levels. EDF 2025 boasts the biggest weapon selection to date in the series, with over 700 weapons and counting. Co-op is fun and just as addictive as ever, though the focus now really is teamwork. Doing things gung-ho means snack time for the enemy. Work together and stay off the menu, folks. Four players can work together online, but honestly, I didn't mess around with that feature all that much. It was local play for this guy. As for the music and sound, it's pretty good in this game. The composition rocks and gets your blood pumping, while the sound effects put you right into a B-horror flick. The cheesy dialogue is hilarious too, though seriously, these guys could use some singing lessons. To save our Mother Earth from any alien attack From vicious giant insects who have punked and can't come back We'll unleash all our forces, we will cut them any slack The EDF deploys other issues I have, well, the load times are way too long in this game, anywhere from 35 seconds to 3 minutes. Also the graphics are horribly dated, think PS2 quality, plus this game lags a lot. Now while the lag isn't the worst of the series, it's still pretty bad folks. The repetitive stages will get on players nerves too, and you'll be amazed how often you revisit the same levels again and again. So the fully destructible environments was a big push by the developers, yet when you add on all the bugs and citizens running around, it slows down the game tremendously and gets pretty annoying. Especially when you add lots of explosions! Still, not being penalized for remodeling the neighborhood was awesome, Sandlot. However, my biggest problem with this game is the giant spiders, which may be my arachnophobia talking, but still, being dragged by spider webs sucks in this game! You can't shoot them, webs drain your health, and they reach you anywhere on the screen, even through buildings! Yes, buildings! To wrap up though, I really do like this game. It's just fun to shoot massive bugs and blow stuff up for hours on end. Seriously though, if you enjoyed any of the EDF games, this is the cream of the crop. The new weapon classes like Air Raider and Fencer tweak the gameplay enough to keep things feeling fresh. Co-op was a nice touch too, and online multiplayer didn't suck. Yes, the game can be a bit of a grind at times, though you won't mind because you'll be too busy shooting giant insects into oblivion. Earth Defense Force 2025 gets an 8 out of 10. The replay value is strong with this one. And that's it. That's all, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another review. Until then, God bless and happy gaming. Be seeing you.